Good day my friends, back in the shop for a little bit today. It is a lovely day out there. Trees are starting to get bare now. I've got to do a little bit of shop cleanup. Those knives are all cured, but I don't think I'm getting to those handles today. I do have some hand sanding to do on some other blades. Uh, I have a project to show you guys right here. But first I've got to do a little bit of cleanup. Just got to put the compressor back that's there from when we uh, shingled dead shed the other day. If you haven't seen that video, click up here right now and go check it out. Now I have to move this sportsman out of the way first. I'll roll in just to make this video a little more interesting because it might be a boring one. I'll roll in a little bit of footage there now where I was out playing around the other night just to test out the four wheel drive system. It was a rainy, slippery evening. I went to some kind of like turfy, mossy areas, uh, sliding around on some rocks. So what you're looking at right here is a 2005 500 TRV. They had bought this bike brand spanking new back when I was uh, 2005. I guess I would have probably been in junior high in high school. That first summer I put 4,500 kilometers on this bike just uh, flicking around town off the trails and stuff around town which is pretty outrageous. This bike bought brand new. I think, I think Dad did the first routine oil change on it. That's all has been done with it, and it has been, it has been worked hard. It's been ridden hard, um, and it's just been the toughest, most reliable thing ever. Now it's getting pretty run down. There hasn't been any maintenance done to it for a long time. So I'm going to do a little bit of work on it. Uh, going to do a bit of work. This is the long chassis, the two-up chassis. But I'm going to remove that now because it's not a touring or riding bike. It's just going to be a designated work bike at this point. So I'm going to remove some of that rear assembly, the the up seat there, the bar is going to do a little bit of welding. Down here, all this put foot peg outfit is all rusted off, rotted off and gone. So I'm going to do a little bit of welding there, a little bit of cleanup, maybe an oil change and a, and a, a filter cleaning or something like that. 
We have a cover here and a, and a the proper seat. This is not the factory seat, so it doesn't fit on there. This whole bike just needs some work, and it's got a lot of life yet, I'm sure, being an RD cat, and these were made so tough and durable. Jonathan, buddy, I'm throwing some uh, some good marks your way. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's a great bike, just needs some work, and I'm going to do that over the next little while. I'm going to be picking at it. After a bit of time at it here, I can see all I'm going to be able to do is a bit of a patch job that should hold up because everything is just so rusted. You'd have to just hack everything to pieces and build everything from from scratch almost if you want to do a proper job here. But This is probably the most perfect weld I have ever seen. You could probably not find a weld better than this anywhere in the world, but unfortunately I can't show you guys because of the poor, the poor camera angle, so you're just going to have to take my word for it that this is an incredible, incredible weld there. Okay, so I know today's vlog has been pretty poor so far. I did a bit of welding on the bike. Then the wife left for a little bit, so I stayed with my girls, hung it with them. We drove around, dropped off a few packages and things. I didn't get much content. I've been inside doing some work at the computer and stuff. Just not great vlog material. But I did just have a package arrive. I'm going to unbox here now just to spice things up a little bit. So quite a few weeks ago now, a company called banggood.com contacted me. I don't even like saying their website name because here in North America, doesn't sound the best. It sounds like maybe uh, maybe a not so nice website or something like that. I'm thinking, I asked my wife, we were just talking and we were just talking about how, how odd the name is and she suggested maybe that it's like um, bang as in bang for your buck, a good bang for your buck, banggood.com. I don't know, maybe it doesn't mean that. Maybe the, the words mean something entirely different but uh, yeah, so they asked me, they gave me a budget, asked me to pick out some products to try out and review. Really awesome. I did this, uh, I did something like that for them before, maybe a year or two ago. And it was all, it's always nice because who wouldn't want to try out new gear? And I picked some things, I use opportunities like that to pick, pick things that I might need. So, or that I might be interested in checking out. Now I have a DeWalt impact driver that you guys know Anytime I get the chance, I tell you guys how good it is. Because I've never owned an impact driver until this past year, and it is just, I would never again be without one. So I went combing through the Banggood site, and I saw that they had impact drivers there. Now they're cheaper than, uh, than what you would get like my DeWalt for. So I wondered how good could they be, or how cheap could you potentially get a functioning impact driver for if this is one? Now I'm going to do an actual review video because that's what they asked for. That's the deal. They get a video of me trying out the product. So you guys will get to see kind of like the official review. This is the kind of behind the scenes unboxing. I had to say the box is smaller than I thought it was going to be because I thought this was going to be like a more of an impact gun for like lug nuts and stuff. Uh, so a stronger powered one. But it doesn't seem... Ooh, it's really taking up this box. Not packaged the prettiest. You can see just a plain, plain box here. Let's, have, let's bring it in up for a look. <whistles> Lithium. Let's see what we have there. There were some color options. I ordered the plain black one. 
I found the most powerful one I could on the site. Sheesh, that actually looks good. <laughs> that looks great. Now you guys are really getting my full candid opinions here now because this is this is uh, just me taking it out for the first time. What do we have here? This was the strongest one they had on the site, which was pretty powerful. It's supposed to have. Let's see. Okay, so you can see the battery is, is pretty sizable, but once you plug in, check out this. My DeWalt doesn't have this. I think the bigger batteries do, but you can actually check your charge. Hold down that button. Let's see if she turns over. Super smooth. Quiet. Got a light there. It's uh, it's got a pressure sensitive switch, which I do like. Now I know this thing is not full charge. I just plugged it into the charger, so the indica indicator came on the light, and according to the light, it means it's low charge. But I have to give this a shot. I can't go in tonight without trying it out. Probably won't be a good uh, a good test for it, but I just wanted to see if it does impact. Now I almost feel bad doing this to her when she's not full charge. Oh yeah, you can definitely see. Now these haven't been off in years and years and years. I'm just going to throw on my little quarter inch DeWalt here just to see. This one is definitely not made for breaking bolts like this, but uh, this one, remember, is also at quite low charge. So let's just give this one a try. So this one definitely won't do it. This one. We'll have to get her up to full charge and see what it can do. So that's it for this video guys. Pick yourself up a mug or something else on the website. If you haven't checked it out already, go check it out. www.kylenosworthy.com I might come out later tonight after the girls have gone to bed and pick up the bike here a little bit more. Um, so far today I was just working on those steps much worse than I thought. Everything is gone and underneath there so just working on patching things up. Hope you found some entertainment in the video. Hit that like button if you did. If not, go on elsewhere and find another video. Comment below. Tell me what you'd like to see in upcoming vlogs or what more you'd like me to show. Any questions you'd like answered, go ahead and let me know down in the comment section. Subscribe to my channel if this is your first time here. We'll see you in the next video. Okay, just a PS ending clip. I just I was sitting here just looking at it after I turned the camera off for a minute. Just clicking a couple buttons on it, not doing anything really. I figured, excuse me, I wanted to just try once more through the 17mm socket back on and popped off all four lug nuts with ease. So I'm not sure if she just found a breath of fresh air. I'm not sure if just because I was here giving her some throttle, if everything kind of freed up and, and moved some grease around that was in there for shipping. I don't know why, but she did pull off all four of those lug nuts and uh, my DeWalt wouldn't. So high hopes for when this gets a charge. I think this will be, well we know it's definitely stronger than my than my DeWalt is, but this should be its half inch drive versus the uh, quarter on the DeWalt. But still, thank you guys for watching. See you next video.